one of the very first things why South George is unique is because of its shape. It's around 54 kilometers long and only seven kilometers wide. And there is a mountain range running basically through the whole central part of the island. And there are so many lava stretches along the coast. It is so amazing. There are nearly 8,000 people living on this little island. But one of the things South George is famous for is the cheese. There are many places to try it and to buy it. It is possible to try the cheese at the different stages of aging, from a few months to over a year. And there are colored stamps on the cheese which tell you the age of the cheese. Santa Catarina Tuna is another artisanal food production space at Santa Catarina. Today it is mostly cheese and canned tuna which make up the economy of the island. First things first, I stopped to get a couple of these traditional cookies. Well, it is a local pastry. They say that it is one of the most important gastronomical symbols of the island. It does have a story. It is made during the celebrations of the Holy Spirit. It is apparently known for its unique flavor. Yeah, it's like all this filling and stuff. Oh, it's good. Also, it's a bit spicy. I already regret that I came only for like three days, but this is the campsite and my tent. All right, so we are gonna go and explore the island a little bit. Right now we are on the southern shore. Here we go, the first thing we are going to visit is the coffee plantation. It's also on the southern shore and it is possible to try the coffee and to take a little tour of the plantation. We visited a coffee plantation which is quite a unique thing in uh, Europe. Apparently the special microclimate of uh, this place just allows the growth of coffee. The family who runs this coffee plantation started all this for a personal use, but at some point they just had like so much coffee that they decided to, to open a little coffee shop. And after that explained to us that some countries just decided to put this attraction to the guidebooks so this is how they became famous the coffee grown here is 100 percent the arabica type also for the fact that uh, this place is colder than most of the places where coffee is grown it has less caffeine which, uh, which I guess means that you can just have more coffee. Since the coffee plants are grown near other fruit trees and fig trees and banana trees, it also has a really fruity taste because they said that coffee plants are very, very catchy. So they kind of absorb the taste around them. I don't know if this makes sense. It is possible to make a little tour in the coffee plantation, but only with the owners. And now we are going to go on a hike. This is the southern part. 
of the island and we are going to cross to the northern part of the island. Here is the plan for our hike. We will start from here, from the coffee plantation and hike towards the central part of the island where we cross the mountain. The length should be around five and a half kilometers. When we reach the peak, we should connect to another trail which runs along the northern coast of the island. We almost crossed the mountain. We came from uh, down there. This is the southern shore. The view is absent because of the clouds. Now, if we cross the mountain, we are going to arrive to a point where you can connect to another hike, which is on the north shore. It's supposed to take two and a half hours, it's like a 10 kilometer hike or walk. But look at this. This is insane. So you guys, there is a campsite in this area and I kind of regret that I didn't come camping over here because this is just wow. Also, it's right by this very famous beach for surfing. We are going to check out the area of the capital city a little bit. It's one of the two bigger towns on South George, but yeah, it's cute because it's just still a small, quiet city which is built around the port. You guys check this, there is this super cute square with birds and fish. <laughs> Look at these lava rocks. Most of the villages here on the island are already very, very modern, of course, but there are still some places where the life is still extremely traditional. They do prefer to live in a very simple way and it is just so true that we tend to complicate life so much sometimes. Well, anyway, I guess that was our trip to South George. So yeah. Hi.